Morning, everybody. So we are on Thursday. Um, this week has been well. I'm in the row row. Don't know if you can tell. A bit of free day in here. Uh, so I'm in the row row. I basically this week uh, I've done a few little. Um, I've done an exchange and tipped one, and you've seen that. Other than that, though, I've had pretty jam-packed week to the point that I've not been completing every day, and I've literally been rolling over and catching up. And uh, I'm finally caught up, and I've got an easy day. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to record today. I was hoping to get stuff earlier in the week, but it just, like, every job I went to was just, I don't know, everything went wrong. So I should have recorded, really. Like, the other day, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, like, I'd go to the most simple job that I'd normally be there for about 10 minutes and I'd get in, put them in down, pick up the other one and I'd be out. I was there for about an hour. Um, I got stuck in the mud. Uh, then they wanted it somewhere else, thank goodness, because I couldn't get out. <laughs> and then I had to try and get the other one out and oh, it was, um, yeah, just everything was going wrong. So I've also got Rock Solid. So one of our drivers is actually on holiday. So I've got Rock Solid, which is the one around the corner from our yard, um, which we do quite a few a day. Um, the last couple of days I've been doing about five, maybe six tops. Um, but obviously if you've got a full day's work as well, you just haven't got time to do anything. Just you, you basically go and do a job, you get back, you tip your own job, or if Rock Solid's full, you basically drop your bin, pick up the other one, go and tip that, then put it back, then tip yours, and then go and take that back, or you know, go and do your next exchange, and then you get back, and then you've got two Rock Solid to do, and then, so every time you tip, you're not just tipping one bin and then you're back out, you're tipping like two or three, and you just, you just run out of time. And then you've also, if they're filling up quickly, you, they're, like they are our priority at the moment so if you're not around the yard and no one else is there to do it they do not <laughs> not happy because they stop production they literally stop production because they can't do anything your priority is rock solid basically um so yeah it's, it's all right it's nice and easy don't get me wrong you just pick up a bin next door bring it around tip it straight straight back you know weigh it on weigh it off simple the bin it's a nightmare to get open, but once you've done the knack to it, it's just get a scaffolding pole. So like obviously where you, you know, I've shown you um, where you push it open, like I was struggling on the one a minute ago. If you get a scaffolding pole, so obviously you've got your arm goes through like a little, um, we normally got like a drop pin that secures it. So if this, like, over the years they get a bit harder to, to like shut, open, um, they get bent, the bars get bent, and other than that, is they're higher than me. So rather than like having my body weight pushing against it, I'm pushing up. <laughs> I can't like push against it from up because my my arm strength is rubbish. And um, yeah, so like you end up trying to push in, but you just literally push it up against the bar. It doesn't work. So your best bet is often to get a bit of scaffolding bar, um, gives you a little bit more leverage and then you can push it shut in theory. If you can't do that on your own, then there's normally someone around to help. Um, there has been occasions where there's been no one around and you're just there like, oh, I just give up, I just give up. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So anyway, um, enough of me jibble jabbering. Uh, I am on my way to Axe Skips, which you have seen me do quite a few times now. I've got that one. And then I've got, it's a tip return, because it's their own bin. Um, then I've got another job in the yard, pretty much, and just a delivery. So, you know, I can show you those, and I can show you all the rock solid. And then tomorrow, I am on the, well, I'm just in the office, actually, tomorrow. I'm not on the way bridge this time. Um, I'm in the office. So the transport manager's off, and they're short of staff. And... Not only that, I'm the only row row driver in tomorrow because the other two are on holiday. <laughs> so, I'm doing rock solid, obviously. We 
which is fine, it's next door, they just give me a ring, yeah, I'll be there at five, and then jump in the lorry, zoom around, do it, come back, back in the office. Um, so that's actually probably easier, in all fairness. I've only got one exchange in the morning, which is in Sourton, which is, again, five minutes away from the yard. So tomorrow I'm not worried about it, it's going to be a nice easy day, in all fairness, other than being in the office. Um, but yeah, other than that, easy peasy. So, I'm going to crack on and get down to Axe Skips. Right, I will catch up with you in a bit, we're going to start singing. <laughs> oh, we buddy! Aha! 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 Ooh, we're going downhill.
imagine you just seen me do uh, rock solid. Um, that was the problem is they ran it, and it's really <laughs> no good to train. It's really hard work trying to trying to tip it because they ran it so much. Effectively, I'm pretty much overweight nearly. Um, so it's heavy, and then you go to tip it because where they've rammed it. Basically, it gets wedged, and normally, watch the window, buddy. Normally, if it gets wedged, it's fine because all you do is, all you do is, you know, drive forward, put your brakes on, reverse back, put your brakes on. You know, normally that a little bit of shunt works. If not, then put your bin down. You can shunt again. However, they wedged it so much that I needed the grab to come and help. As you can see. Um, and I don't know if you could see, like, the way I sort of, you might have seen it on the one before, is where they load it, they load it in from the side. Only one side. So one side's always a little bit heavier. So when you pick it up, you are automatically picking it up and it's on piss. Which makes life not very easy for myself uh, to deal with. Um, and when you're tipping it as well, it's, it's just too heavy. Uh, it's a bit of a nightmare, but it's fine. I've done it. It's not a problem. But um, yeah, if it was going on the road, it'd be very side heavy. And the problem when you have with row rows is you can't drive them like a tipper, for example. So a tipper's, you know, they're, they're same weight, 32 ton. However, their center of gravity is a lot lower. Uh, you know, they've got a fixed base and a fixed bed, like the tipper bed. Uh, whereas these row rows, they're, slightly taller on the bed anyway where the hook loader is so yeah if you've got a um a 40 yard on then you've got no chance um that'd be really because like it's top heavy as it is and if some idiots loaded it then you've got no chance um but yeah other than that it's what it is uh just putting it down now Who's that? That feels like you. Yeah, fly. So it's on um, metal boards. Um, so basically, I've got a point where I know that I can reverse that to, and then just start sliding it off, basically. And because it's got proper metal boards, it just slides straight onto it. Don't have to worry about the ground. Um, just put it straight back down. Watching my my uh, camera, and I'm still doing time. Oh, Let's see if we can get off now. Hey, we're off. Okay. The only other one is the no! yeah, exactly. They have got another bin, which looks full. I'm gonna go and do it. But they've also got roadworks going on. And you're just going to come anyway, huh? Trying to get out of the way of everyone. Hey, we're out. Right. Yes. So we've just got to go turn around. And then we're going to get the other one. Shall we? 
the other one's a little bit more on um, a bit of an awkward place. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll put the camera back there and you can you can see exactly what I'm on about. solid and local jobs as you can see a lot of driving around the yard 
um, yeah, I've pretty much hit uh, a wall of nothing's going on at the moment. I've done all my all my jobs. Um, I'm up to date on rock solid. So this is the annoying thing about rock solid is because we're we're waiting on them. Um, you often find we're going to wait around. So this is the bit that gets tedious is the waiting game. Um, I've obviously shown you me tipping it. That's nice and straightforward. Loading it, tipping it. La la la. All done. Um, yeah. All it is literally now is waiting on a, to load it. There's nothing else I can do. I mean, in all fairness, the bait is still going. I mean, it's. Let's have a look. It's half full. Um, it's half full. He's getting another bucket. Um, so yeah, I might have a bit of a wait. Um, I've done the other one over there because they've got two here. So they've got one for large metal, one for small, and uh, it's basically like all the incinerator waste. Um, so once it's burned, it turns into ash, obviously. And uh, then it comes to this plant and then they process it um, they process it and basically yeah all the ash gets separated uh, any of the waste that doesn't get sort of like burnt I'm guessing it goes back I don't know actually on that bit but obviously they've got to deal with our place and yeah the metal uh, gets sifted through goes through screenings and stuff like that and then it comes out as two types, so you got uh, zero, 00 to 40 mil, which is basically 40 mil to dust, uh, the finer stuff, and then you got 40 plus, which is what I'm waiting for now. Which, in all fairness, they keep ramming, so I mean, I might, as I'm waiting on them, I might just let them put this last bucket in and go for it. Yeah. So tomorrow I'm going to be basically doing this, but in between I'm going to be in the office. So what I'll do is um, probably leave it there. You know, I'm afraid not much has been going on. Uh, earlier in the week has just been hectic and I wouldn't have had any time to just, to, just to record. It just was crazy. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed what I've done. Um, So yeah, tomorrow uh, I'm in the office. So yeah, other than that, I'll leave you uh, to it for a minute. See you in a wee while. Like and subscribe. Like your time. <laughs> Say bye. Bye.